Welcome to Long Jumps. In this lesson I'm going to try and use some uh, repeated addition to help me solve some division problems. So first of all let's just refresh our memory with what repeated addition is. And it is simply something like that. Repeatedly adding the same number. And it doesn't matter how many times you do it. Right, here's our first question. Um, let's start with 24 divided by 6. Let's imagine that on a number line. Um, I'm going to say starting at 24 and I want to jump back in uh, jumps of 6 and I want to get all the way back to 0. So my, my first jump of 6 will take me back to 18 and I'm going to jump back another jump of 6 which will take me to 12 and jump back another jump of 6 which will take me to 6 and another jump of 6 which will take me back to 0. So now I'm going to count up how many jumps I did. I did 1 jump of 6, 2 jumps of 6, 3 jumps of 6, 4 jumps of 6. So 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Now you may remember at the start I said we're going to use repeated addition and you can see that I've just done subtraction for all of that question. So let's see if it still works um, but by doing repeated addition. So I'm going to start at 0 and this time I'm going to jump up. Up in 6 takes me to 6. Jump up another 6. That will take me to 12. Jump up another 6 which will take me to 18 and I'm going to jump up one more 6 which will take me to 24. Now they look a little bit different because I'm not the most wonderful uh, number line drawer but you can see it's exactly the same thing 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 still 4 jumps of 6 so the answer is 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. Let's try another example this time let's try um, 32 divided by um, 8. So I'm going to draw a number line over here. Now because you saw that it didn't matter whether I subtract or add, I'm going to fly, I'm going to do addition because I find that easier. I'm going to start here at 0 and I'm going to hope to get up to 32. So my first jump is a jump of 8. Oops. Jump of 8, which will take me to 8. I'm then going to draw a jump, another jump of 8, which will take me to 16. And then I'm going to jump again, another 8, which will take me to 24. And another jump of 8, which will take me to 32. So I've done one jump, two jumps. 3 jumps, 4 jumps, the answer is 4 again, but this time I'm jumping up in jumps of 8s. Now you may have noticed that there's another way that I could record that. I can see that I have done 4 jumps of 8. Now, if you know your tables, you'll know that that is 32. Let's try one more example, this time let's try 18 divided by 3 equals something, and again I'm going to use my number line. Well, I know that I need to get to 18, and I'm going to start at 0, and this number here, just like in all the other ones, it tells me how, how big my jumps are. So my jumps are going to be in jumps of 3. So my first jump of 3 takes me to 3. My second jump of 3 takes me to 6. My third jump of 3 takes me to 9. Fourth jump of 3 takes me to 12. My fifth jump of 3 takes me to 15. And my last jump of 3 takes me to 18, which is the number I'm I was trying to get to. So I can see that I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six jumps. So, 18, which is the number we got to. Shared into jumps of three. You can see all of these were jumps of three. It means I need to take six jumps. And just like we did before, you might also notice that six jumps of three is equal to 18. Well, hopefully this lesson has been helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.